Hey guys, it's Joe Hildreth and welcome back to my heap. Uh, in this uh, video we're going to continue on with the Kenneth Well stationary engine build. So uh, I know these uh, episodes kind of are far, <laughs> far spread out and far a few between, but it is something that I do want to uh, complete. Uh, so thanks for hanging out there and, and bearing with me. So in the last video, um, you know, we had, uh, or I should say I, uh, got everything ready, got the uh, the filler bushing, the end pipes, the, the end caps have been uh, formed, uh, turned and fitted so they fit inside the tube. And then, um, uh, yeah, I think I said the, uh, the filler bush and the, uh, and the, and the tubes uh, used for the uh, exhaust and the steam supply. And I have those right here. They've been pickled, they've, the ends have been cleaned up and they're ready to solder up. Now please keep in mind, um, when I say soldered up, I don't mean uh, soft solder, I mean silver solder, which is at a much higher temperature. And uh, you have to silver solder these because it's a pressure ves vessel and uh, normal uh, soft solder, uh, plumber solder, which is likely to melt and then uh, you end up with a bit of a steam explosion on your hand. So you don't want any of that. So anyway, you see the bits and pieces here that I that I have ready to solder up. Now the uh, silver solder I'm using is uh, Safety Sil 45. It's 45% silver silver solder, and I'm using uh, a uh, Stay Silv uh, Flux to go with that. So we'll have to get the bits uh, fluxed up. Now I do want to say that I did attempt this uh, off camera with uh, you know my uh, a test boiler, and um, or not a test boiler, just some test pieces, right? Because I just wanted to see how it would, how it would do. And uh, so I was using a propane torch um, on a, uh, you know, one of them little camp stove uh, tanks. And it got, you know, it was generally hot enough, um, but maybe not. So um, what I've done is I've put the, the torch head on a MAP gas tank, which MAP burns a little bit hotter. And that should be enough to get this little boiler done. But I would uh, think that um, any larger size material than this inch and a half uh, copper tubing that I'm using, or whatever size it is, 42 millimeter, whatever it is, um, probably wouldn't be enough heat. And I'm not so convinced that I'll have enough heat now. But having said that, Mr. Factotum, um, who's got a little bit of uh, boiler experience, well, when I say a little bit, a whole lot more than me because this is my first boiler. Uh, suggested that um, you know I could take my camp stove and, and apply heat at the bottom or another torch uh, to, to sort of help supplement the heat. So if we have to do that, we'll do that. So let me uh, let me get stuff ready and I'll come back in and and uh, we'll see what kind of a mess we can make of this. Okay, I don't know how good the camera position is there. Everything sort of kitty wampus moved around so that I can try to get a video shot here and actually work. All right, so uh, my boiler tube, uh, you know, I have uh, two, two end caps that need to be soldered in. Uh, one is without a hole, goes on the bottom, right? And the other has a hole, uh, I don't know if it shows up there, right there, that will go into the uh, other end and will be aligned up with this hole here. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna start with the bottom. This way I kind of get an idea of if I have enough heat um, I could still drive it out if there's a problem or something like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this um, flux here, the Stay Silva soldering flux here, and I uh, I'm going to use my little rod here and and sort of dab it around the outside edge, and hopefully that's showing up. And uh, now the thing to remember about the saw uh, the 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 flux is that wherever you know wherever the flux is, the the silver solder is going to run there, right? So you want to try to be sort of neat with this stuff, and and I am by no stretch of the imagination uh, neat with anything really. You just ask my wife; she'll tell you. So get that okay so that's sort of spread around there and then I want to get this started in the tube like so and I don't know if I got this on camera or not um, 
one. I'm going to bump this. Uh, hang on, let me, uh, I'm going to pause you here for just a second. You'll never know I was gone. Okay, I'm going to just tap this around into here. Gently and and uh, sort of as Emma said, th this wants to be just proud or just sticking just past the edge a little bit. So I'm just going to very gently tap that around. And right, there we go. That's probably sticking up. Um, Less than a sixteenth of an inch. Let me get my little square here. Make sure that we're good and square. That looks good. And hopefully I got this in frame. Alright, so this in here is just a tad tie, a tad high. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Um yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like that. So now I'm just going to take my flux and very gently massage it right right here on the seam, trying not to make a big mess out of everything. There's probably an easier way to apply this. And for all you experts out there, um, and feel free to comment, but be easy on me. This is only my second go with this, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so um, now I think we're ready to braise this up, or uh, silver solder this up. So let me get the torch ready, and this might be kind of loud. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, so if it... Uh, if it's if it's too long, I will uh, speed up the video. But I really just kind of want to get everything heated up here. That's that end. Now, I'm going to quench this in my pickle, which is just out of screen here, so that I can handle it again. That was violent, wasn't it? <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Let me uh, let me clean this off a little bit, and let's take a closer look at what we just done. Okay, so this is the first side silver soldered. It got a nice little bead around there. My map gas did get plenty hot enough. Uh, one of those things uh, for for the, any of you other newbies out there, like me, uh, Keith Appleton has a a number of um, videos on silver soldering, and. Uh, you know, he talks about it, you know, going clear and, and that. So I, I think I'm starting to see what he was talking about. And when I look inside, I don't really see any, but I got a nice fillet right around here. All right, so um, off camera, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I'm going to prep the other side up, and then I'll bring you back in when we're ready to silver solder that side. Okay, so I got uh, this area flexed here or I got my cap in, I just want to flex it a little bit more around the edge here and I got my pipe in. Now the only thing I haven't put in is my boiler bush uh, for the safety, for the filler bush slash safety relief valve, right? Um, because I think it's just at a weird angle. So I'm going to get this here silver soldered up and then um, I'll clean that area up and then we'll solder that area up. So hopefully get this lined out here. And I probably should have done this off camera. But it is what it is. So let's uh, fire our torch up and see what happens. Okay, well, we dropped that on the floor. But, all looks good. Let's get it quenched.
All right, so note to self, it probably would have been uh, better for me to uh, have had something uh, handy like this here to grab it because uh, I knocked it over poking around with, with the solder. All right, so let me get this uh, cleaned up and let's uh, let's try our luck with the bushing and well, we'll see what happens. So I'll bring you back in when I'm ready. Okay, so I have the uh, bush fluxed up and uh, in the hole. Let's uh, try our luck with this. I got it. Do I do sort of have it, you know, wedged up against there so it's not going to roll around. In fact, I'll put this little piece of pipe on this side. All right, let's see what happens. I think I, I got that all the way around. Let's see here. Yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see it on camera there. Let that cool for a little bit before I put it in the pickle. And then I'll let it pickle for a little bit so it can be cleaned up and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, so the boiler has had a chance to pickle and it's been cleaned up a little bit uh, just with some water and, and Scotch-Brite. And as I look, and I don't know how well the camera will pick up, uh, we'll try to get it sort of close. The, um, the end of the boiler, uh, that looks pretty good to me. And the front of the boiler, where the tube comes out, the supply, steam supply, this looks pretty good to me and the boiler bush looks pretty good other than I do see what looks like a very small pinhole right there at my finger although I filled this thing up with water and uh, at least under the water pressure I'm not seeing any leakage and I can um, hold my thumb over this here put some soap right there and blow as hard as I can into the end of this pipe and I'm not seeing any bubbling so I'm thinking maybe it's watertight but now the truth of the matter is we won't know until we do the hydraulic testing and the hydraulic testing is very much required because you want to make sure that your vessel can hold up to the pressures that uh, it was designed to operate at okay so um, but we're going to call this done at this point because I can't um, I can't test the boiler hydraulically until I get a test rig set up. I uh, also need a, uh, need a safety relief valve. 
Now both of those items are uh, detailed in uh, OBC's Titch book. So I'm uh, going to try to, we're getting close to Christmas, so I don't know how soon I'll get this done, but I need to try to get the um, materials that I need um, to, to make both of those things, the uh, pressure relief valve and the uh, pump. Uh, so that I can pump it up, and then of course I need to find some other odd odd bit. You know, I need to um, a gauge. Now, uh, somebody told me that uh, I wanted a hydraulic gauge. Is that correct? You know, that's the ones that are filled with the uh, oil or whatever. Uh, let me know, uh, or can I just use a regular, um, just an air pressure gauge? Because um, I, I do have one of those. So let me know. And uh, someone, uh, I think it was Chirpy, actually, kind of gave me the idea about using a piston jack as a um as a uh as a water pump so we'll see all right so where to from here well the uh next thing in the list of drawings that i have is the engine uh, uh frame right now you got a choice that you can either use a casting right or you can bend it up from metal um, emma has been uh, from emma spare room machine shop and if you not looked at her build please uh, go check out her channel her uh her uh, uh kenny bill which is the kenneth wells uh, traction engine and she's built this engine all of these videos are up on uh, youtube to watch most of her uh kenny videos are now up there uh available for watch and she's got just a, a bunch of other great videos and and maybe check out her uh, live steam or live stream <laughs> that she does on wednesdays unfortunately i'm a lazy bum and i'm just can't get up that early all right, so uh, to do this here, we're going to have to come up with some sort of angle plate on my mill or some way of clamping this down and fly cutting that so that, uh, or milling it or whatever, so that the, this face here is square to that. And aside from that, maybe the next uh, bit that can be done can start on the engine components. And here we have the flywheel, crank pin, crankshaft, um, and the bearing. So there's there's plenty to do and and uh, I don't know what the next video will be on but it's definitely going to be on something. So uh, thanks for your patience with the series. I know this series coming out uh, ungodly slow. Everything I do is really slow, but I, um you know it is what it is, man. I have a full time job and and uh, other things got to be done. So other than that, hey, thanks for uh, taking the time to watch my videos. If you find uh, that they're helpful or entertaining, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe sharing with your friends. And other than that, have a blessed day.